We are getting ready to do some Father's Day gift making, DIY style. So here's the supplies you're going to need for your redneck bird feeder. You're going to need your plunger, and I got mine at the Dollar Tree. You're going to need some wire to hang the little sign that you're going to make hanging off of it. Sharpie marker to write on your little sign. You can either write redneck bird feeder, hillbilly bird feeder, whatever. Um, you're going to need, of course, a, uh, a saw to cut the piece of wood that you're going to need. You're going to need a scrap wood for the base and you're going to need a piece of scrap wood for the little sign that you're going to make. And then we have some sandpaper we're going to use to uh, sand off the little sign and the base. So there you go. So let's get started. Okay, so we cut our square but I don't think it's going to be this big. On the pin, it really didn't give any measurements, so what you're going to do is you're just going to eyeball the size you want for your base um, for your bird feeder and the little sign. So we started off with a big piece, and we'll probably end up uh, trimming it down into a, uh, a, a smaller size. Not like too small, because you need something that's going to be sturdy. So there you go. All right, so we're measuring for the base now. We got it centered as good as we got, can get it. And then I wrote Redneck Bird Feeder, and we'll cut that out. Not quite centered, but that's okay. <laughs> it's redneck. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we're measuring out a smaller smaller size from this uh, bigger one, piece one of wood. One foot by one foot. We're going to try one foot by one foot. So that'll go on here. It's coming All right, there we go. It's in the base. We haven't glued it or anything, but we got it in the base, and we'll probably give this a good sand, too. So, so far, so good. Little tip um, on the bottom of the... Uh, the plunger, the end was kind of rounded, so um, when you put it in the hole, it's not going to um, have the base sit quite uh, flush and sturdy, so we actually just kind of chopped off the bottom so it's nice and flush. So now we're giving it a, a good sand, making it uh, nice and smooth. Doesn't have to be perfect because again, it's redneck. All right, time to glue this to the base. All right, so we glued the plunger into the base and now we're gonna add our sign. Now this part you can do, you know, any way you want. You could actually, you know, wood glue the sign on or um, you could actually put a screw and screw it in and then, you know, hang the little sign on. We're actually going to drill a hole through and then we're gonna thread the wire through and then it's gonna hang down. So that's the option that we're choosing. And hope that it doesn't split. And hope that it doesn't split. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna take our my steel wire that I got from the Dollar Tree and hubby's going to uh, drill a hole in the uh, the sign and we're going to hang our sign and we're going to put the wire through the little holes. Alright, so side. we took our wire, we attached our sign and there you go. There is the redneck bird feeder. And then all I'm going to do is buy some bird seed and we'll give that uh, along with the bird feeder. I think it turned out super cute. There you go, redneck bird feeder. Thank you, Pinterest. All right, up next on our DIY Father's Day projects is the, um, the little baseball with Cullen's handprint, and this was super easy. You just take some ink, like some ink pad ink, and then um, I dabbed it all over Cully's hand, and I had him grasp the baseball, so there you go. And then um, we're actually going to make a stand. So we have a piece of scrap wood. Two by four. A two by four. Thank you, dear. Um, a two by four. And we got it cut. Cut off a square piece. Cut off a square piece. And then we're going to probably try to get like a little a, divot, a little a divot, divot in there so the ball will sit in there. So that is our next DIY project. And if project. you're really good, you could potentially groove. Uh, you could put uh, engrave it. Engrave it? I don't know. Are we that good? We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. 
All right, so hubby is in the process of making a little divot in this little wood block. We have like a little Dremel tool, so he's slowly but surely making progress on that. All right, so we made the little divot, and then the ball goes in like that. And then my husband, he's so crafty and handy, he engraved G-Paw on the front there. So that turned out super cute. So project number two, done. All right, so up next on our DIY Father's Day gifts is the Yard Yahtzee game. So what you're going to need is a 4x4, and we got ours at the Home Depot. And you're going to have them cut into cubes, 4x4x4. Four by four by four. We have five cubes here, but we actually did um, have a six cube cut, and that is our, our goof cube. We're actually going to practice on that and, and see how we want it to look with numbers and stuff like that. So you're going to take those cubes, and you're actually going to um, need some sandpaper to sand them down. We have a sander here. And then you're going to need a five gallon bucket, and that is what you're gonna keep your dice in. And that's actually gonna be your little shaker that you're gonna shake around and throw the dice into the yard. And then from the Dollar Tree, I have a dry erase board, and that's gonna be used to keep score. And then I have some hook and loop fasteners that I also got from the Dollar Tree, and I'm actually going to use these. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the square or the round ones, but I'm gonna use these to attach the dry erase board to the top of the lid, and then I have a marker that I was going to use to put the numbers on or the little dots on the dice, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use the permanent marker or some paint. So we'll figure that out as we go. All right, so let's get started. All right, time to sand the cubes. All right, hubby sanded the first cube, and I think this is going to be our goof cube to practice on because it's pretty beat up right here. No matter how much you sand it, I don't think you're going to get that down so this will be our all goof right cube. so i practiced dots and numbers and there's the dots and there's a number yeah i think i'm gonna go with numbers instead of the dots for our dice so yep thank you goof cube you solved my problem all right i got all five of my dice die whatever you want to call them done got all the numbers written on them so next up is I'm going to um, use some Velcro and I'm going to see if I can try and attach the whiteboard. So dice is done. All right, so I went with the round little Velcro uh, fasteners and I put them on the back. So all you have to do is just stick the board on the top and then there you go. So and I wrote Yard Yahtzee on there. So there is the yard yahtzee game and i already put the dice in the bucket and then we changed the name it was a uh, homer's all-purpose bucket and we scratched out and put eric since that's my brother-in-law's name and then we put the dice in here and then i'll put the extra dry erase markers in there and there you go and there is the yard yahtzee game All right, last but not least on our DIY Father's Day gifts, we are going to make this white bucket look like a baseball. So all you need is some red electrical tape and you're gonna need something sharp like a little utility knife. All right, so we put the red electrical tape on and this actually works really well with two people, especially for this bucket. Um, my hubby stretched it out and then all I did was just tape down the side and it angled and it worked really, really well with two people. So that turned out really good. So now we're just going to do a little cross pieces. All right, so we took little pieces of the electrical tape and we made the stitching on um, the bucket to look like the baseball. So there you go. There's your DIY baseball gift basket. And of course we have all the baseball goodies. All right, so to recap, we made the little baseball gift basket. We made the little DIY ball holder, and my husband put G-Paw on there, and then of course Cully has his handprint on this ball. So this, this, and this go together. Then of course we have the redneck bird feeder for my father-in-law, and all I have to do is get um, some bird seed to go along with that. And then last but not least, we have the yard Yahtzee game with the dice in there and some extra markers inside the big bucket. 
so there you have it those are all the diys we worked on today for father's day i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and as always you guys have a fantabulous day and i will see you in my next video bye guys